Today we're going to discuss chafing over the mill groin and scrotum. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share and like this video. Now well, let's get going. The male groin is an area that can become irritated easily, both physically and chemically. Strenuous physical activity, ill-fitting clothes, obesity and excessive skin care leading to abrasion of the area are some of the more common causes of chafing of the groin. Those can irritate the skin, leading to itch, burning, discomfort and pain, and redness or flakiness over the area in and more severe cases can lead to breakdown of the skin and actual formation of sores. These are all signs of irritant intertrigo of the groin and the scrotum which is a pretty nasty condition. Avoiding chafing in the first place is a smart move. So what do you do? Well avoid excessive cleansing of the area especially with hot water or any physical abrasive device to decrease irritation of the skin over the area. I would recommend using lukewarm water and simple soap only to address the issue of sweating and odor. If you tend to sweat over the area, you can use powder grade cornstarch applied on the skin folds and, and the underwear. Those can soak up that residual moisture and can buffer its effect. As far as choice of underwear is concerned, underwear should be made of soft material and be well fitting. If you're prone to chafing, I would avoid briefs and take my pick of boxer, boxer briefs, or trunks that tend not to chafe the groin area. Going commando is also fine, but if you're a sweaty fellow, you're risking staining of your pants and obvious embarrassment. Avoid baby wipes and wet wipes over the area at all costs, as those can lead to significant irritation. Also, avoid antibacterial products and disinfectants over the area, as those can also lead to breakdown of the skin barrier and make your irritation worse. If you're overweight, losing weight can actually decrease your chances of getting chafing in her trigo significantly. So that would be a terrific move on several levels. First of all, decreasing the risk and complications of skin problems, and obviously there are greater benefits for your general health. If you're already experiencing chafing, then tread lightly. First of all, back away from any factors that could be potentially making you worse. So avoid any excessive cleansing over the area, stick to the lukewarm water and soap, use well-fitting but not too tightly fitting pair of underwear made of soft material. Again, avoid the briefs as they're going to push on the groin folds and possibly make your situation worse. Using a dab of Vaseline may actually take the discomfort away immediately and add a little bit of lubricant to the area which will be suffering from skin to skin friction and skin on fabric friction. All of these factors can actually make your situation worse and petroleum jelly is a lubricant can, can mitigate the situation for you. That being said, avoid automatically applying any medicated creams to the area as many of those over-the-counter medicated creams can actually be irritant, such as clotrimazole, which is a common antifungal, or any one of the products belonging to the category of antibacterial ointment, such as the triple antibiotic ointment or the double antibiotic ointment. If you're very uncomfortable and the area is oozing and there's secretion over the area, consider using something called Dombero soaps. Dombero soaps are powdered aluminum and calcium salts, which can be reconstituted in water and applied as compresses over the area using a washcloth or another piece of fabric that was soaked in the reconstituted solution. You can apply those to the affected area for about 10 to 15 minutes, let them rest, and then take them off and allow the area to air dry and that will bring on significant relief especially if the area is very uncomfortable. Also an often forgotten solution is to apply cold compresses to the area. Those are washcloths that are simply soaked in cool water that can bring immediate relief to the area and can make your symptoms much more tolerable very quickly. If your symptoms are not improving despite the measures that we described Go seek a board-certified dermatologist for additional evaluation and management. A board-certified dermatologist will diagnose your situation and will treat it appropriately. Some severe cases of inner trigo require prescription medications topically, and in some cases, even systemic medications, especially when we are dealing with very severe cases that lead to breakdown of the skin, what we call the erosive inner trigo type. Those will require, in some cases, systemic steroids and possibly a course of antibiotics to decrease the risk of infection. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to share and like this video. Thanks for watching. God bless.